Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got big items to hit, a concerning earthquake swarm, orbit of the newly discovered interstellar object intruding into our solar system, a new Arctic observatory for geomagnetism, and a new estimate of the Carrington event flare in 1859. We're here, starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and things got more active in the last few hours. You'll see filament eruptions off the limbs, not aimed at Earth, towards the end of this sequence. Earth-directed activity remains low, including solar flares, and the sunspots are found in numerous groups, with the one on the south even having a touch of complexity, but there aren't any bigger spots or larger complex groups. Still would need more development to get much out of these. The story is still quiet. So we're off to seismicity, where many of you have been mentioning this for days, the opposite of quiet, but with last night's continued surge, it is now one of the bigger swarms of the last decade. Scary location as well. We're watching closely for bigger events there. I'm sure by now, most of you have heard about the interstellar object. It's the third one ever discovered, and it is coming in on the equatorial plane. It never really comes close to crossing Earth's path. It is slightly higher than the plane as it passes Mars this fall. It doesn't quite get there in time anyway. For close approach, Earth is going to be on the opposite side of the sun with very little visibility, but as winter sets in, we will catch her leaving the solar system. Fun times, eh? Up next, we've got a brand new Arctic Observatory for geomagnetism. This will be helpful for tracking solar storm impacts. It may assist in solar climate forcing, and it will definitely be able to help monitoring the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Since Denmark quasi-owns Greenland, they built the station up in the frozen reach of the Arctic there. And this paper actually marks the one year into the project, Mark. Hopefully, we start getting some gems from them soon. Lastly, folks, the 1859 Carrington event, the last major flare from the sun. We have a new estimate. You know, three years ago, everyone assumed it was X45. Subsequent estimate put it at X80 and maybe much higher. This new one says X105 with a range that could be from X81 to X146. This higher estimate truly sets the 1859 event apart from major storms like in 1909, 1921, 2003, and 2024 but it also offers a bit of concern. First, we know the Carrington event level flares hit Earth every 150 to 200 years, and if it indeed is that big, there's no question Earth is in major trouble the next time one hits. We'll be sent back to the Stone Age. We're 166 years since the last one in the danger zone. As Earth's weakening magnetic field continues fading in the ongoing geomagnetic excursion, it may only take an X30 to X50 to have similar effects on our planet right now. And remember folks, the 2024 solar storm matched the auroral production of Carrington, but with an impact that was about 100 times weaker and we can say that even more confidently now. There's no doubt that was only possible because our planetary magnetic shield is in collapse mode during this magnetic pole shift. Folks, it really would be great to see you out at Observer Ranch. The Pole Shift Conference Learning Days pretty much happen every month. Lots of other special events as well. In full honesty, Observer Visits are only about 45% of estimates so far. Ow, my feelings. Pick a time to come see us. Review the details and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. Don't forget the special events in October, the Colorado Prepper Expo, October 10th, 11th, and 12th, and The Experience, October 17th through the 19th. Special link to that event is below. It's the session that kind of molded me into me, and now I'm helping level it up another notch for you. There is no prepping like that of your mind and spirit. Check out the video and info page for The Experience below, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.